So what can happen if your tax preparer doesn't sign your tax return? Try owing $13,000 in fraudulent taxes or paying back your refund with interest. Hear true stories on the podcast, Taxpayer Beware. Visit taxpayerbeware.org. Every sandwich has bread, every burger has a bun, but these warm, golden, smooth steam buns, these are special. Reserved for the very best. The filet fish and you. You can have them too. filet fish Fridays are back at McDonald's. Get this flaky, wild-caught masterpiece for just $2.00. It's the best thing to happen to Friday since Saturday. Limited time offer. Price and participation may vary. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is a morning update. Well, it looks like there is some trouble on the home front for Slick Willie and Hillary Clinton. According to insiders... Bill Clinton is absolutely terrified that Hillary is going to leave him over his Epstein Island visits. Now, we would be naive to think that Hillary didn't know that this was occurring while it was occurring. And like the rest of these people, she is shameless. What she will say is, oh, I had no idea that Bill Clinton was going to this island. I was no, I had no idea. I am disgusted by his behavior. Meanwhile, she was, she was with him and they both went to Zorro Ranch, according to sources. But now, as the fallout begins to start really dropping around Bill Clinton... According to these sources, and obviously, it all has to be taken with a grain of salt, right? We don't know if this source is accurate or if this source really has a link into Jeffrey Epstein. And remember, it, this, this article is from The Sun. But what I will say is this. As far as the Epstein investigation goes, outlets, outlets like The Sun have been ahead of the curve the whole entire time. The Sun, OK Magazine, Daily Mail, they'll report something. And then seven or eight days later, the legacy media jumps on board. So a lot of times where there's smoke, there's fire. And I can totally see Hillary Clinton being pissed off about all of this. And imagine what sort of scumbag you have to be to have a maniac like Hillary Clinton Mad at you? So, it looks like there's some rocky times ahead for Mr. Bill Clinton moving forward. And according to this source, Hillary Clinton is giving him the business over his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Let's jump into this article from The Sun and see exactly what it is that they're talking about. Headline, Bill's Fears. Bill Clinton petrified Hillary will divorce him amid claims he visited Epstein's Orgy Island. Lifelong Pal reveals. This article was authored by Emma Parry. Now, I highly doubt that this is a new revelation to Hillary Clinton. I highly doubt that she did not know that Bill Clinton was making jaunts over to Jeffrey Epstein's island and to other properties. Now, of course, she'll use plausible deniability, right? Oh, I had no idea what Slick Willie was up to. We all know that he is a womanizer anyway. How can I stop him? I'm a victim of his as well. That's the way she'll set herself up if the walls come falling down, right? If the house of cards implodes and Bill Clinton gets caught, uh, you know, with his hand in the cookie jar, or in his case, his hand down his pants, then you know Hillary Clinton is going to look to distance herself from him. She's certainly not going down with the ship like the captain of the Titanic. She's not playing one last song on the deck as the ship crashes under the waves. Zero chance. She will try and distance herself from him. And in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if she tried to divorce him. If she sees something going uh, real south with this Epstein debacle. 
It's all about self-preservation for these people in power. And I honestly truly believe this when I say it. I don't know if they're capable of true love. When you become a sociopath the way that especially these Clintons are, I think that these relationships are relationships of convenience for them, not relationships that are born of love. Bill Clinton is petrified that wife Hillary will divorce him amid claims he visited pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's Orgy Island, a close friend of the couple has revealed. The former U.S. president thinks Hillary may leave him because she doesn't need him anymore, now she's not running for office, and any further embarrassing allegations could be the final straw, the lifelong pal of both Clintons added. Now... Up until the last four or five years, you know, the whole anonymous source thing was always pitched as that, right? Oh, this is an anonymous source, blah, blah, blah. But with the legacy media, they have pitched anonymous sources as if they are gospel. So, I, you know, the Sun is doing the same exact thing here that places like the New York Times and the Washington Post has been doing for the last four or five years at least. So there's really no difference, right? Again, though, always take it with a grain of salt. We don't, you know, we don't know what this insider is, if this is even an insider, right? We don't know if it's just BS and we don't know if, you know, it's disinformation. But it does seem likely, in my opinion, that there would be some rifts within the relationship of Hillary and Bill Clinton. And especially considering that she's not running for any office anymore. She really has nothing to lose at this point. If she truly feels like Bill Clinton is going to be tarnished by this Jeffrey Epstein fiasco any more than he has already been, then I can totally see this vile ass woman using this as a pretext to get a divorce from Bill Clinton and in turn attempt to distance herself from the relationship that he had with Jeffrey Epstein. But as she tries to do that, remember, it was Hillary Clinton who gave Ghislaine Maxwell's nephew a job at the State Department. I wonder how she's going to explain that away. The source also claimed Hillary used to have somebody reporting into her on Bill's whereabouts when she lived in Washington, D.C., and he lived in New York in the early 2000s. That sounds about right. You don't think that somebody like Hillary Clinton would have somebody keeping tabs on their philandering husband? Bill Clinton? Mr. Slick Willie, I can't keep it in my pants? Hell yeah, she had somebody peeping on him. Hell yeah, she had somebody watching him. And hell yeah, he might as well have been under surveillance. This dude literally has a problem. Like, he's like an addict when it comes to sex. And he just, he can't keep it in his pants. And Hillary knows that. The rest of the world knows that. And it's a shame that the legacy media is too busy playing grab ass to really report it. Now Hillary is no longer running for office of any kind. What what Bill is worried about. He's worried that now that Hillary is not running, that he is no longer useful. And that she is basically saying that she has no need for him anymore. With the stink of Epstein all over him. I could totally see Hillary Clinton using that as a way to get out of this marriage. She is just, I don't know, man. As far as vile people go, she's right at the top for me. I really have a dislike of Hillary Clinton. I really have a dislike of the way she conducts herself, not only as a human, but as a politician. And I certainly, certainly dislike her nasty-ass husband. She's petrified she will leave him. He just sits at home. He's in poor health, watching TV around the clock. Yeah, debatable, all right? You know, maybe, you know what this piece might might be here? This bit of, this dump that has been so-called leaked by an insider. This might be some disinformation to drum up a little bit of empathy for Bill Clinton. Make him sit around like a sad sack. Oh, he just sits around watching TV all day around the clock. He's in poor health. Poor Bill Clinton. Is that the narrative they're trying to run? Because I hate to tell you, I am not buying it. I will never 
ever have any empathy for Bill Clinton as a man. As a president, I thought he did a, a decent job in some regards. He certainly wasn't a train wreck as a president. Some regards, he wasn't very good. Other regards, he was decent. But as a human being, the guy is reprehensible, disgusting, and certainly somebody that should never be defended. So I'm not going to buy into the whole, oh, he's just sitting around watching TV around the clock. He's so sad. He's so depressed. Oh, his poor health. Nope. Sorry. I'm not buying it. I will not feel sorry for a scuzzbag like Bill Clinton. Since the Monica Lewinsky, Lewinsky scandal, there's been many allegations of womanizing leveled at Bill. But he's never really commented on any of them until the claims about visiting Epstein's island. Wait, he's commented on that? Not a real comment. Has he sat down for an interview with anybody to talk about his relationship with Epstein? Has Emily, has he had an Emily Maitlis kind of interview? No, he hasn't. He's put out a couple of statements through his spokesperson, through his mouthpiece. But as far as sitting down and answering direct questions... In regards to his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein and, and what he was doing hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein, that has never occurred. So until that occurs, he can put out all of the statements he wants. He can use all of the mouthpieces he wants. He can try and gaslight all he wants. But it's not going to have any effect. He needs to answer some hard questions and he needs to answer them truthfully because we already know. We already know you were on the island. We know you were at Zorro Ranch. We saw the pictures of you getting a massage from Shantae Davies. So the, the ducking and the hiding and the dodging, that's coming to an end. And if the legacy media would really do their jobs, they'd be banging down his door. And asking him to clarify his statements about his relationship with Epstein and how much they were involved with each other. Because how much more high profile does it get than Bill Clinton, folks? We're talking about a man who already has these sort of stains on his reputation. You would think that if these allegations popped up again the way they have, that everybody in the legacy media would be going crazy to try and verify the veracity of these allegations. But we don't have any of that. And their silence, their silence on the matter speaks volumes. He's afraid if there are any further embarrassing allegations, it could be the final straw. Yeah, well, hey, the both of these people are reprehensible. And if anyone thinks that Hillary Clinton would let Bill Clinton drag her down to the bottom of the sea with her, they have another thing coming. This isn't a, a lady who is uh, uh, someone who has a moral compass. This isn't somebody who is trustworthy. This is somebody who is all about power. This is somebody who's all about self-preservation. And if Bill Clinton is getting in the way of that, he will catch that heat too. Bill issued a strong denial that he had ever visited Epstein's private Caribbean island, Little St. James, back in August. However, longtime Clinton aide Doug Band claimed on Wednesday that Bill had indeed visited the island in January 2003 in a Vanity Fair interview. And of course, people will say, well, Doug Band just has an axe to grind. Doug Band is just a, a former employee and he, he has an axe to grind against Bill Clinton. While that might be the case, he also has a lot of dirt on Bill Clinton. Doug Band wasn't some outer ring um, intern or anything like that. Doug, Doug Band was very, very close to Bill Clinton and he basically held the keys to see Bill Clinton. He was Bill Clinton's body man. He was a bag man. He was everything that you could possibly imagine a right-hand man would be to a top-level politician like Bill Clinton. And Doug Ban was 
intimately involved in all decision making. He was intimately involved in Bill Clinton's travel plans. And he most certainly knows the score. And to think that he is lying about Bill Clinton going to this island is just a, a supreme example of cognitive dissonance. There is zero doubt in my mind, folks, that Bill Clinton was on this island and on it more than once. I didn't need Doug Band to tell me that, though it, it, it's nice to get some confirmation from somebody in um, the Clinton uh, cult's inner circle. But all of the evidence and the eyewitness reports that we have had previously, it was obvious that Bill Clinton had been to this island before. While Bill is listed as traveling on Epstein's private jet numerous times, a Clinton spokesperson told the publication again that the president had never been to the island and provided detailed travel log entries for the time period. Oh yeah, because that stuff can't be cooked or doctored or anything, right? Detailed travel logs, huh? What are you, Alan Dershowitz? You and Mr. I kept my underpants on Dershowitz are formulating the same defense? Oh, I have all of these travel logs. Were they notarized? Did would Take them to a notary? How do we know that they're true? How do we know that they're not false? How do we know that they're not BS? We don't. And that's what they deny. That's what they rely on. They'll throw up so much confusion and, and obfuscation into the mix that they hope that there's enough confusion that nobody knows what to believe. And that's exactly what Bill Clinton and his representatives are doing here. According to the close friend, Bill issued the strong denial because Hillary is hoping to obtain a position of some kind in the Biden administration, so does not want any more negative allegations. And there you go, folks. Didn't I tell you weeks ago that Hillary Clinton was being considered for a relative high-level position within Biden's administration? I hope that throws a little bit of cold water on all of you out there who think that Joe Biden's going to come riding in on a white horse to throw Jeffrey Epstein's associates in jail. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss, unfortunately. And with somebody like Hillary Clinton with excessive ties to Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell on her own being thought about for a high-level cabinet position, I don't know how anybody out there who is not experiencing cognitive dissonance can try and tell me with a straight face that Joe Biden is going to pursue these people vigorously. Consider me skeptical, especially when someone like Hillary Clinton is being considered for a cabinet post. Hillary is hoping to do something in the Biden administration and does not need this right now, the source said. Well, she's going to get it. And I'll tell you what, I will be crying out from every rooftop about this vile woman and her vile husband and the fact that they should be nowhere near the presidency, nowhere near any levels of power. Bill Clinton needs to sit down and talk to the authorities about what he knows about Jeffrey Epstein and Jeffrey Epstein's behavior. Enough is enough already. I don't think her being married or not would make a difference to getting a position there, so it could be easier to just step away. Allegations of womanizing have been a constant in their marriage, and Hillary has always put up, uh, put up with it, but only to an extent. Yeah, because the means justify the end, right? What, she's going to get divorced from Bill Clinton while well, she still has all of these political aspirations? Zero chance. She'd rather run around and let this scumbag disrespect her on a regular basis, disrespect her marriage on a regular basis, and then... Not only that, she'll double down and she will defend him and attack the women that he's already assaulted. All because she wants more power. All because she wants a new political seat. That's the sort of absolute power-hungry maniacs that we're dealing with, folks. 
And it's a bad and sad scene. After she was elected to the Senate and moved to Washington in early 2001 with her mother, leaving Bill at home, she had someone in New York available to her 24 hours a day to report to her on Bill's whereabouts. I wonder how many of those reports included Ghislaine Maxwell, because if you remember, there was a lot of talk about Ghislaine Maxwell and Bill Clinton being involved romantically. So while Hillary was in Washington and Bill was in New York, was that when Bill was rolling around in the sheets with old Ghislaine Maxwell? Did that play in to Jeffrey Epstein and whatever sort of blackmail he might have had on Bill Clinton? Who knows? Certainly something to think about, though. It adds up. Bill Clinton most certainly was without adult supervision while he was in New York. There's no doubt about that. Hillary was gone, and you know, when uh, mom's away, the kids will play, especially someone like Bill Clinton. So you mean to tell me he was living in New York at this time, Hillary was away, and he wasn't palling around with his buddy Jeffrey Epstein, huh? Who had all of those good-looking young ladies around him. Mr. Bill Clinton, deviant himself, wasn't palling around. That's what you would have me believe. All right, I guess so. I mean, if that's the narrative you want to pitch me. Honestly, though, I don't buy any of that. Jeffrey Epstein had a vast network, and Bill Clinton was an intimate part of that network. There's been talk of a divorce through the Monica scandal, through all of these things. Of course there was, but there never could be a divorce. Now there could. Can you imagine that scandal? Imagine Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton getting divorced and the dirt that would come out in that breakup. Oh boy, I can only imagine. I can only imagine watching that unfold. The last thing I ever want to do is see people get divorced, right? That's, you know, that's horrible. You don't want to see people have their lives flipped upside down and move on from their partners for whatever reason. But I'll be damned if I don't take joy of hearing about these two having issues. These two vile sons of bitches have caused so much strife in the world, have caused so much harm to the world, that I can't find it within me to have any empathy for them whatsoever. And if they get divorced, and if if Hillary does decide to get rid of Bill Clinton, boy, I will be sitting there with a gigantic tub of popcorn and a buttered hand because it will be an absolute shit show in the comment section of every single news blog. I don't think she will at this stage. But Bill certainly thinks that it's, it's a possibility. Well, I'll tell you what, if it comes out that Bill was down on the island and there's, uh, and there's evidence that she, can't even, that she can't deny, does that have enough weight for her to decide to divorce him then? Furthermore, what happens if she does get a cabinet position and then it comes out that Bill and her were a lot closer to Epstein and Maxwell than first thought? Is it going to be the same frenzy that we saw with Acosta? I would hope so. Because guess what? There's no teams in this case. There are only scuzzbags who need to be brought to justice. And I think all right-thinking folk can agree on that. Their marriage stopped being a marriage after Chelsea was born. There was no intimacy. Neither a representative for the Clintons or the Clinton Foundation responded to requests for comment from the Sun. Well, you expect that. They're never going to, they never comment, right? They have zero to say until they can get together and have a uh, meeting of the mindless and come up with some knucklehead, canned ass BS statement to make. And that's all because they know that Slick Willie is playing loose with the truth like usual. And they know that Bill Clinton 
most certainly was on that island. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at B-O-B-B-Y underscore C-A-P-U-C-C-I. All of the links that go with this episode can be found in the description box. All right, folks, I'll be back later on today. I hope all of you have a fantastic day. In a noisy, stressful world, quiet is the most valuable commodity. And the cabin of every Lincoln vehicle is designed with this principle in mind. Should you desire a little more melody, our available Revel Audio system will not disappoint. The very same engineering that makes for a whisper-quiet interior provides a studio-like setting in which to rock out to your music, finding harmony all around you. That's the power of Sanctuary. And that's Lincoln. Revel and the Revel logo are trademarks of Harman International Industries, registered in the United States and other countries. In a noisy, stressful world, quiet is the most valuable commodity. And the cabin of every Lincoln vehicle is designed with this principle in mind. Should you desire a little more melody, our available Revel audio system will not disappoint. The very same engineering that makes for a whisper-quiet interior provides a studio-like setting in which to rock out to your music, finding harmony all around you. That's the power of Sanctuary. And that's Lincoln. Revel and the Revel logo are trademarks of Harman International Industries, registered in the United States and other countries.